Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play Nightingale series. Today, Edith and I are going to be going on a mission to find some more storage. But before I do that, I want to show you guys what we've done since our last episode in the desert. So I kind of came back home and updated our house a little bit. And this is where we're at. I'm going to close this door so Edith doesn't get in the way. Of course. She just poofs. Anyways, so we've added some lighting, and then I also crafted some augmentation. So we have like our basic sawhorse, and over here in our magic room, we have a training dummy and a map for our sewing bench. And heading back over here, I didn't realize, I, <laughs> I realized it when I was editing the video, but when we were hunting for these shelves, I'd actually already had them unlocked. So I'm just going to light this up. So we're not dying over here of frost. Anyways, so we have the shelves, but what I want is some better chests because these only hold like 15 item slots and I really want to get my storage set up. So that's why we're going on our mission today. And then really quick, I'll show you guys upstairs. I haven't done a whole lot, uh, much of anything really, but I did add us a lamp to our bedroom. So it's a little bit more cozy. I'm going to go ahead and sleep so we can get some morning time going. And we are going to check out really quick where our, I'm pretty sure it's this one, but where our chests are at. Uh, Astrolabe Swamp. There we go. Uh, augmentations. No, we've already been here. So we need to go to chairs, augmentations. Are we not going to get to do the chest today because i know i feel like i know it was in a swamp area it's, it's not the herbarium surely <gasps> it is the herbarium oh well never mind so today what we're gonna do is go and unlock our provisioner card let me see what okay we're pretty clear on inventory uh how much essence do i have oh yeah we're gonna upgrade our gear really quick and then we're going to go get that provisioner card because we've got a whole nother tier to do. We are behind the curve um, before we can even get our storage. So let's see. We're just going to go ahead and upgrade our backpack first because this will let us carry more. All right. And then I'll go ahead and upgrade our tools. Oh, just kidding. Just in case we need to harvest anything on the way. All right, and then I'm just gonna upgrade all of our armor really quick, and then I'll be right back with you guys. So that is all of our current gear leveled up. Let's go ahead and open our inventory, and we also, well, we already had our cloak leveled up, but for all these things that were, you know, a little worn, that saved us some essence dust in repairing all of them, because when you upgrade them, it refills the durability. All right, so now we are sitting comfortably at eye level 44, and we're going to go and see if we can't find us a provisioner dungeon. Where are you? Oh, it's, it's not too far, actually. All right, so we're just going to head down this way past our um, NPC, well, well, Mina. Well, oh, God. Get him, Edith. Hurry, hurry. Oh, shit. What were those guys doing just camping here? That was not cool. Come on, Edith. We've got a dungeon to tackle. Lore notes to read. I'm going to grab this food. Oh, what was that? I can't believe I got him. Oh, I thought he was going to be like a fabled deer. Because he had like cool horns. Alright, so there's our Wellamina and her stuff. But what is this statue and monument? Oh, look, it looks like she's <laughs> it looks like she's earthbending. What is this? Alright, it's going to be some resources that <laughs> I am way under leveled for. But I love this statue. Oh, goodness. We've got pigs. Uh, 
Alright, that should be all of them. Ooh, we have a chest. A quarry card, some healing potions. Ooh, a slithic infusion encumbrance. So basically that'll add 10% to your maximum weight. We are not... Oh, oh am I not going to be able to hit it? Aw, poo. Oh, there we go. I just had to crouch. Damn, Edith, calm down with the trees. All right, and we took that, obviously, because we want that gilded lumber, especially um, when we get a little bit later in the game, we won't have to sacrifice ingots um, to make it out of our lumber. All right, we got some, some fey gardens. Grab up some of these berries on our way. Ooh, what's going on in here? Got some food. Uh, but not a whole lot else, it doesn't look like. Alright, let's keep going. We are on a mission. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. These little occupations. I mean, they don't stand a chance. We are way, way out leveled for these guys. But what we can get is our favor of soaring to help us get over here maybe a little bit faster. Oh no, shit, we're already here. All right, so we gotta keep our eye out for, for lore notes. Oh shit, I forgot I had the soaring. Oh, this tree is very... <laughs> In a very inconvenient location. Oh, we got a movement speed infusion, some bricks, and some cloth. I want to see if I can use that infusion real quick. No. Well, what on earth would it go on? Because everything I have is pretty much green. All right, I know you guys... Well, maybe not, depending on, <laughs> on where I set the volume, but I know I hear a lore note. Ah, found it. All right, let's get this chest first. Ooh, stamina efficiency infusion, weight, so that'll reduce the weight of an item, and blocking efficiency. I'll take all those until the day we can use them. What the hell's that? All right, let's read this. All right, so this is from Foreman Matthew Roderick, Uncategorized Realm of Abeyance. And it's the Provisioner Side of Power. Excavation Field Report, July 29th, 1884. Equipment arrived in excellent condition, no articles missing. As my first operation, after replacing my predecessor, Foreman Clem, I have taken diligent care to survey the area. Only a small fraction of the site was unearthed by the previous crew, and significant reinforcement is required to make the area traversable by our machinery. A magical barrier. Sorry, there is a lot going on outside. Um, a magical barrier consistent with those found at prior sites has been partially exhumed, revealing tunnels beyond. Relying on the accounts of a realm walker at my prior post, I believe the barrier to be passable once more substantially cleared. I am requesting the reassignment of former employee, Etta Bergman, at your earliest convenience. Excavation and reinforcement begins at sunrise. All right, so remember, this is July 29th. All right, let's see. All right, I turned down the audio a little bit. That way, <laughs> if I have to read again, I'm not completely deafened. Oh, here we go. Come on, Edith. Gotta get you. Oh, shoot. Sword boy. Alright, these guys are a little bit tougher. I thought I saw another one. Oh, there you are. I see you. Can't blend in.
All right, is that everybody? I hear a lower note. Maybe it's underneath us? Oh, it's so tricky because when there's verticality involved, I don't know where this thing is at. Oh shit, okay. Uh, pro tip for fire boys, use the maw because it staggers them. Oh. Oh, hide, hide, hide. All right, we did that. Oh, good job, Edith. Putting in work as usual. All right, I gotta find that lore note though. It's gonna drive me crazy. Where are you, lore note? Where are you hiding? Oh, I know I hear it. And I'm scared to drop down because I don't want to drop down if it's up here somewhere. Alright, it's not. So that's our entrance. Let's go ahead. We're going to drop down here. What the hell? Oh, it's just you. Nobody's scared of you. Ooh. Get him, Edith. I'm out of stamina. All right, that was some good teamwork. All right, I'm gonna head back up this way. And just to make sure that lore node isn't hiding up here somewhere. Oh shit, I'm pretty sure I've already been here. Oh, <laughs> look, there it is. All right, before we read, we gotta make sure the coast is clear. All right, I think we're good. Oh, we're already all the way in August. All right, so this is Matthew Roderick again, August 6th. As planned, the minecart is able to pass the site's gate without issue, and we have extracted a substantial amount of fake crafted items and realmic minerals. Our first shipment will be en route tomorrow evening as scheduled. I would, as well, like to request additional funds for the further payment of Edda, Edda Bergman. I thought he wanted her fired before. <laughs> now she is vital to the success of this operation, yet has again expressed discomfort with her role. We have confirmed that the site remains vacant, yet, as with our last excursion, members of the crew, including Miss Bergman, are hindered by superstitious belief. I would like to quell these rumors as quickly as possible to avoid any further delays. So what are these rumors? Oh, I see a sword boy. Don't be angry. Oh, shoot. I missed. Get him, Edith. Give no quarter. I just realized I do not have my uh, potion slotted. All right, get my axe back out. actually remembered I have a healing spell this go around. All right, let's get this. No, ma'am. No, there will be none of that. There we go. And those guys are very weak to any kind of range damage. I just don't have... There's no way this is the end of the dungeon already. Really? Haha. <laughs> okay. Well, let's read our last lore note. I'm assuming it's our last one and we didn't miss any. All right, let's go. All right, this is August 10th, so four days after the last one, also from Roderick. Disaster has struck. While delving into the site's final chamber, Etta Bergman ceased communication and a scream was heard by all attending crew members. With no means to reach her, they waited, only to be met by a rumble and an onslaught of unfamiliar humanoid creatures. 
My distance from the incident allowed me to avoid the commotion. I have abandoned the area and oh, area with all I could salvage from our next from our next planned shipment. I recommend that all additional NTTC assets, including personnel, be considered lost. At your earliest convenience, send an envoy with aid. I dare not attempt to evade the beast with such cargo, and I will not abandon what was found. Damn, so he just ran off with the goods. Alright, well, come on, Edith, you know what time it is. We got some fey machines to beat up. Alright, what do we got? What's it gonna be today? What's it gonna be today? Oh, it's just a little night. Uh, dummy. Oh shit, he kind of hits hard. <laughs> oh. Once you learn how to fight these guys, they're so much less intimidating. Oh shit, as I get punched in the face. There we go. Good work, Edith. Boom, now we have our, oh, we completed a challenge and we have our provisioner card so we can go to our next, our next little area. I hear another, I hear another lore note somewhere. We missed one. That sounds like it's around here somewhere. Oh, we also missed a chest. Oh, we got a Dragon's Horde Eminent card. Uh, stamina efficiency and some more potions. Let's see if it's on the other side of... Oh, we have a whole little secret passage. Okay. Oh, another chest. <gasps> we got the trickster card, guys. We have the trickster card. Oh, we're definitely playing with that next episode. Our, uh, after we do the provisioner, because we have things to do, but then I'm going to do the trickster card in our home realm. All right, come on now. I mean, it sounds like it's right here. So I'm going to double check the boss chamber real quick. Just to make sure we didn't miss it. Double check, double check, double check. Okay, it's not in here, so it's... But there's another chest. We got a poison resist and stamina regen infusion. All right, let's go ahead and make our way up. It's got to be... It's in this general vicinity, but directly above us somewhere. And in case um, I had to edit the volume too low and you guys can't hear it, you can always tell whenever there is a hope echo nearby because it does like this mystical little shimmer sound um, anytime that you're near it. And it is spatially aware. So if you have like, you know, uh, spatial awareness and headphones on, you can use it to help you locate it. All right, it's got to be right around here somewhere. <gasps> I saw it. It's hiding in this thing. Oh, how would we have ever seen that? Oh, this is August 1st, so this is all the way back. When they first got in here, digging has progressed as expected. The barrier can now be reached easily, and after some exploration, it appears to fully enclose the site below ground. I do not recommend attempting to circumvent it at future sites. Etta Bergman arrived this morning, and I must extend my thanks. The honorarium offered was clearly enough to settle her concerns regarding our operation, and, as I su suspected, her unique disposition has proved invaluable to our efforts. Maybe he was trying to hire her before. Anyways... Uh, she was able to cross the threshold of the site's gate without injury. Already, preparation has begun to lay the railway necessary to for efficient extraction of all valuable assets. 
I estimate one week until our first shipment. Well, clearly that didn't work out. We know that now. All right, so I'm gonna check out what's out here and then we may be going home to craft this new card. Oh, we are right on the edge. But I do want to see what a, what this little tower is out here on this on this little island. I mean, it's a small wonder. Is like once you guys get into the game for a minute, make sure you don't gloss over everything. As like like just me personally, once I've been playing a game for a while, I start to um like tunnel vision, and so everything like all the small beauties get glossed over for me. And, like, sometimes I just have to make myself stop and appreciate those small little wonders that you had, you know, when you first started playing. Oh, shoot. Don't die. There we go. Like, I mean, for instance, we were just over there at a dungeon. We saw this cool tower and another cool tower over here. And just come check it out. Look at the little quirks in the world. That view of the ocean. We live right over there on that other cove. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. We're looking at where we live right over there. And then... I want to see what this, like... This... Oh, shit. Wolves. Okay. Okay. That's all of them. Calm down, Edith. Oh, we've got like a mushroom tower. And we could if we had the tools for it. We need to hurry it up. We gotta start progressing in this game. On this playthrough. Because even in my test character, I haven't got to, to 2.30 yet to like start har harvesting this stuff. So I'd love to do it with you guys. Alright, let's pop back home real quick. And we are going to craft our provisioner card. Uh, before I do that, let's try and plan out where we want to go. Oh, you know what? Oh, I forgot we got that quest. All right, so let's go ahead and talk to Wilhelmina because that's going to kind of take us... I just realized that for the Provisioner, we're going to have another quest. So instead of deciding which one we want to go to, we're just going to kind of follow the quest, <laughs> if I could talk. All right, I'll see you guys back uh, once we get to Wilhelmina. All right, we're back to Wellmina, and if you guys have not been following along, and I mean you haven't seen any early gameplay, this is our reporter friend who helped us out in our first abeyance realm, and kind of set us on the path and you know of who to hunt for. But apparently, she has a quest for us now, so let's talk to her. Ah, you again, always a pleasure. Now I'm sure you're here for my exceptional services, but I have a proposal for you. If you're interested in doing a bit of digging for me, I might be interested in your proposal. I heard a fascinating story about an American lawman roaming the realms and trying to look rather inconspicuous while he was at it. Journalist intuition tells me he's up to something, and I'd like to know what. Find him and see what you can learn. Where can I find him? Rumor has it he's currently passing through a provisioner forest, which one I haven't a clue. I can hardly wait to hear what kind of sordid behavior he's running from, or toward. Of course, before you go scampering off, is there anything I can do for you? Uh, let's see. Any interesting rumors lately? Always. Something particular you're looking for? Anyone notable in the realms? Come on, Wilmina, you know the time. Oh, I've heard tell of more than... Of one more than notable, infamous in fact, a monstrous doctor excommunicated from even the most sinister sects of the Hermetics for his mad delusion of godhood. Uh, hidden away, the de oh, in the desert astrolabe, Victor Frankenstein himself talks or stalks the sands, looking for yet more corpses to desecrate in pursuit of unholy ends. Hold a phone. Have we not been? To the desert astrolabe yet? Oh my goodness. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do is hop up here where we have some good lighting. 
Oh, that's the tree, the palm tree Edith desecrated when we first arrived in the realm. That's a good place to exit. Let me hop up here. Well, I can't wave at you guys. I'm having a little bug, but that's going to be an episode for this one. Um, next episode, we are going to hit the Desert Astrolabe and knock out that quest. And depending on how long that takes, we may go ahead and do the Provisioner. So for the next couple of episodes, it's going to be quest episodes. And we're going to hit Dr. Frankenstein we just found out about in the um, Desert Astrolabe area. And then we also, after that, are going to do find this American lawman that's chilling in a Provisioner Forest. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Me and Edith will catch you in the next one. Sage out.